you know, I was debating whether to uh, do this vertical, but uh, whatever, dude. I think it's all right. Hey, what's up, friends? I hope you are in good spirits. I am in good spirits, possessed not by just my own, but that of the Junkions over here. And this is Mr. Trash Master, and he has been hooked up with two scrap hooks and one crash bar. Uh, if you don't have two scrap hooks, you can also use tow line or axle grease. Um, in this video, I'm not going to do the full-on tutorial. This is just going to be kind of like a hype video. We're going to talk about the build, the inspiration, and some nuances and things like that. And um, I'll have a second video where people who want to build it, they can really go and dive in, right? All right. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, my dudes and gals. Let's go. Um, you know, this interesting interesting thing about <laughs> interesting thing about this build is that he's a little bit back heavy. And, um, you know, you can see kind of like the caboose and then the engine over here. Oh, by the way. This is a battle mask that can actually flip over, and I'll show you that in a second. And so we utilize some similar techniques that we did with um, a scrap hook by using the not just the exhaust, but now we have this secondary piece, the little side uh, trash bits, you know, the, um, I don't know what you call those things, but yeah, the trash hooks. And um, the the fit on the wheel is a little light, is a little light, so I had to use some pieces of paper. Um, dude, should I just, hold up. All right, maybe, maybe this is better, right? We can just kind of start talking about him and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he kind of looks like, um, with whoa, you guys hear that? Somebody's burning out in the parking lot. I don't know if you can hear that. But the wings kind of remind me of, what's his name? Gao Gai Gur Gur Gur? The guy with the drills and the tiger or the lion in his chest. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. That guy. Gao Gao Gur Gur Gur. Gal Gadot. Um, oh, Oh, check this out. Check this out. So the legs, right? Hold up. Let me set this down properly. All right. The legs. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. So I was at, so I usually, when I start, hold up. Whoo. Getting too hype. Usually when I start with my builds, I start with the legs. I like a strong foundation. That's how I am built too. And so that's how I like my bots to look. Um, and I couldn't quite figure out the look I wanted. I swear to you, I swear to you on Toy God, on bot bending and, and, and everything and all that good jazz. Oh, whoa, there's a pivot here. Hey, there's a pivot on the toe. Oh, whoops, I just popped that out. But I, I, I swear to you on all things bot bending that the foot just kind of came together. I I did not plan to, um, I did not, plan, I did not plan to make the leg like that. It just kind of happened and it fell in my lap, so to speak. And uh, I, I ran with it. I had to do a couple of tweaks because um, it actually connected upside down where this was the bottom. That was the top. But this is ultimately better. But it was fun. It was really cool just kind of discovering it. Yeah, that path of discovery, it's um, it's amazing. It's, you know, I mean, you don't always get like the results that you want. But the path, the path getting there, you know, there's a lot of great things about that, too. You know, just the whole experience. It's not always about the end. I think it's really about the road. Oh, you, you want to see the gimmick? The Dude, I'm so sorry. Can you guys tell like how hyper I am right now? I'm just all out of sorts and focus. Okay, so what you do first is you need to get a little bit of clearance over here. So you kind of spread these out. Yeah, look at that. And then you kind of tilt the head back as you bring this whole contraption forward. You bring this down and I think it was like that. And you can close, cinch the shoulders kind of back up get him stabilized and he's all like roar roar okay hold on <laughs> there we go there we go there we go he's like roar <laughs> dude my roar sucks and this leg okay one another thing about this build is so the homie farble char, char and i were talking about this on ig the, the junkions are great and all, but they're lacking way too many posts. I mean, I, I often refer to these as pegs, but posts is actually, I think, uh, the pro more proper term, like a light post. They're, they're, they don't have enough of these. There's tons of ports. There's tons of holes, but the mail connector are just few far and in between, and the areas where they do exist, uh, functionality-wise, is not that great. And so uh, Trashmaster is awesome, and, and, and uh, it's fun. It's been fun building with him. I mean, this is the first build, but I will say the junkions overall... Um, they need more posts. They need more posts. And case in point, like this orange one that comes with crash bar, this is like, this is so pivotal. This this helps the uh, the Dinobot combiner, you know, the, the small Volcanicus one, let, let you do a lot of fun things. But this is this is critical, and it's key to connecting these two pieces. Yeah, it, it doesn't have knee bend, but it's like, dude, that's it's one of the few ways that you can actually connect it to the leg. And so um, 
it is a challenge trying to figure that out, but at the same time, I just feel like it's an unnecessary challenge that, um, I don't know, I'll sign a petition, need more posts on, uh, on the junkions and stuff. Oh man, but I could just go on, go on and on and on about this guy forever. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, one of the things uh, I said that I recycled, you know, pun in, all pun intended, I recycled a bunch of engineering, um, that I used on previous builds and, and I wasn't kidding. Like, you know, the legs, the way they connect, the shoulders kind of, the hanging arms with the with the uh, motorcycle bits on him. Like, y'all, if you followed this channel, y'all have seen this, you know. It's not that I'm doing this for the first time. Uh, and I kind of like um, crash bar slung over the back. Dude, I got to calm down. <laughs> I got to calm down, friends. Oh, my Lord. I'm going like... Also, it's been a really, really long week and stuff. And, um, yeah, and uh, when you get this video, I will be on a tiny, tiny, tiny vacation uh, coming back Tuesday. But this should drop on the weekend, I think. Maybe Saturday. And, um, yeah, full tutorial will be coming very, very soon. But um, what else can I talk about? Yeah, the legs are, are really nice. Uh, I, I wish you could remove the arms. I kind of talk about this in the unboxing video, and I'm not sure when that one's going to release, but... There's not enough parts that come up on this guy. Yeah, the fist should have been removable. The, the forearms should have been removable. Um, yeah, at, at least those. At least those. Yeah, at a bare minimum, I feel like. But nonetheless, nonetheless, he is a unique boy. And I actually ordered another one. And if you're curious how I got him so early, I got him from CMD store. And uh, yeah, I, I just ordered another one too. Yeah, I'm trying to be good to myself. Uh, I've been hustling pretty hard, but yeah, tutorial video will be uh, coming up in probably a week or so, but until then, you can just endeavor to figure this out on your own as well. It's a ton of fun, you know, backwards engineering too. So uh, I bid you all a doo-doo, a bobo, and uh, chicken adobo over rice. Bye.